Namaste. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's such an honor to be here. Um, I first want to say congratulations. Thank you. Congra thank you to our ambassador, Embassy Jane, um, the organizer, BIA. Um, the actor, I forgot your name, but yes, uh, uh, yes, sorry, yes, <laughs> yes, exactly, yes. Um, you know, I, I wanted to do my remarks in a different way, and I want us to take a step back and think about what you have done and what does that mean to society at large. I'm going to introduce myself in a different way because it's going to connect to the theme here. I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a colleague, I'm a neighbor. I'm an introvert, I'm a troublemaker, I love math, so we call ourselves mathletes. I'm not an athlete, I'm mathletes, as they call. I love nature, I love hiking. If you want to ever make me happy, feed me chicken. I am a woman, I'm Muslim, I'm blind, I'm a person with a disability, and I'm very, very proud of it. So the question is, why did I introduce myself this way? It's because all of us have so many different identities in our society, right? We can be daughters and sons, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, educators, employers, engineers, teachers. We can be athletes, like all of you here are truly athletes. We can be so many different identities, including our disability as, a, as an amazing, beautiful identity. How do we show this world that we are so many different things? And how do we show the world that we have value to bring forward to society? You know, one of the things when I, when I think about adaptive sports and athletes, I'm not inspired because you are wheelchair users and you are racing, no. I'm inspired because of actually your athletic capabilities. I don't want to be inspired because you are just, you know, oh, everyone, no. We are here athletes, truly athletes. We have that amazing capabilities. Let's be inspired by that aspect of who you are. Does that make sense? Yes. And how do we take that forward into society? When we bring adaptive sports to our society, what does that mean? We're disrupting the narrative on the individual level. First, it's allowing each of us to have the opportunity to experience life for how we want to experience it. And sports is a big part of our lives. Not mine, I'm a bad athlete, but you. And, and my, one, one of my colleagues is actually a triathlete. So we disrupt the narrative on the individual level. But then we also disrupt it on the societal level, showing to society Sports needs to be inclusive. Sports needs to be bringing everyone to the table. This is why we have Olympics and Paralympics. I would love to see some of you guys in the Paralympics in the future. So how do we really disrupt the narrative on the societal level and say, look it, we are part of society and we can be athletes and contribute. But the third layer is when you create adaptive sports, and break down barriers in society so we can actually experience and contribute and participate, you're actually breaking down barriers for other persons with disabilities in society. I think the power of adaptive sports is to translate to society at large in a very powerful way. So my ask of you is, thank you for bringing this forward. Continue doing this, being really amazing athletes because of how you practice your sports. Showcase your athleticism to the world and disrupt the narrative on the societal level. Thank you so much everyone and congratulations again. <laughs>